Um, I already did my little morning routine, which is, you know, get up, go to the bathroom, pee, brush my teeth, change out a nice diaper, um, make the bed, and then I head over to the kitchen to make a coffee. So I made my little coffee, and now I'm gonna um, sit down and enjoy my coffee. I will usually either do Bible study and drink my coffee in the morning, or watch something on YouTube and then do Bible study later. So for now, I'm gonna watch um, a YouTube video and drink my coffee, and then um, we're gonna get into the rest of the day. And today actually marks one whole year of me being a stay-at-home wife. So I quit my job last April and yeah it's been a whole year so i'm gonna show you a little bit of what i do um as a stay-at-home wife and mother the camera actually does need to charge so i'm going to pick up the camera once i'm done drinking my cafecito i throw adana in his little walker i used to put him in like that little bouncer chair but he doesn't like it anymore so we switched to a walker when he was four months and he's been liking it it keeps him entertained while I do like simple tasks, you know, and I, and I can't hold him. Alejandro came home with flowers last night and they're so beautiful. I have to constantly be trying different things for him to calm down. So I gave him this little teether because I need to clean the counters. Okay, this is what I use to disinfect um, or clean the counters, the Clorox bleach spray, whatever. Um, and then you're supposed to like, let it sit so, yeah, let me just clean these counters off. I try not to use it on the stove, obviously, because, um, flame. Que le parece su amor? Es que no bailamos sola, me gusta. Ella sabe que está buena. Sleeping like this. Um, meanwhile, he sleeps. I'm gonna clean this mirror. We got it yesterday at Ross. It was only sixty dollars, which is a pretty good price for a mirror this big. It's like huge, and I think it looks really cute. I'm like unsure how I feel about like the apartment right now because like. I feel like the couch ties in with the mirror and the cute little basket but this like black console thing is throwing me off so I ordered a plant from Target and I'm gonna put it right there and add like a little bit of more greenery and see if that will help because right now I'm not like a hundred percent vibing with it so yeah let me finish cleaning this mirror and then I also have to wax my armpits because it's that time. And I'm doing laundry as well. So I'll be doing all this while Adonai sleeps. And then once he wakes up, I'll probably get ready. I'm going to make up right now while Adonai is asleep. And um, I was doing mascara and I got some on my cheek. But whenever this happens, I just let it dry and then... I will take it off with the q-tip because if you do if you try to take it off when it's wet you're just gonna smear the whole thing obviously i learned that the hard way because that has been happening to me since i was like in high school here and there but anyways i think i'm just gonna finish up with my lips and then style my hair get dressed and then by that time i should be up from his nap so then i'll get him dressed um breastfeed him and then we'll head out to the grocery store by right now it's already um 12 10 and i feel like we're on good time i've gotten a few things done i wax my pits this is the wax machine that i use i know it's all dirty but um it does the job i highly highly recommend you to wax your armpits get the machine off amazon and wax your own pits at home you're gonna save you're gonna save time going to book your appointments and stuff you could do it at the convenience of your home whenever you want um, touch up as much as you need to and you know save your coin this is my little outfit of the day i got like this little sleeveless um top 
these shorts are from levi's i actually found them at ross and they were only 17 dollars so that's a pretty good deal and i put my hair in this um slicked back braid and i also got these at ross they were 10 dollars so that's a pretty cute outfit. I just wanted to share like what I was wearing. But I'm going to leave my camera at home because I'm just going to the grocery store. So I don't want to like carry it in my bag. And I will vlog once I'm back. Okay, I added this little throw to the couch. And then I also added this little plant in this corner. But Adam is already messing with it. Huh. <laughs> Okay, well, this is like the overview of what it looks like now. I think it's giving like a boho vibes, kind of. So, this is what it looks like. It's two now. So, I'm thinking I can prep the dinner. So, like, cut everything that I need for the dinner and stuff. And then I'll probably take Ad and I to the pool. And we're going to go hang out. Mm, by the pool while we wait for Alejandro to get home just because honestly there's really nothing to do in this apartment so why not go to the pool you know he just took a nap like the entire car ride the entire grocery store trip so i don't think he's gonna be down for a nap but maybe he'll be calm enough for me to read the bible um i haven't read today and i really want to so uh i'm thinking of doing that but let me prep the food first. I'm going to make uh, salmon bowls tonight. So um, salmon bowls are super easy. You just make a white rice, cut up some jalapeno, cucumber. Uh, what else does it have? I don't know. But I do the salmon and then spicy mayo. And the salmon, I already bought it um, pre-seasoned, so it has lemon pepper on it. And it's just going to be like really easy to, to do. Salmon's very quick to cook anyway. So I think it's a good idea to get out the house. Um, let's see. I was craving a coffee, but not really like a coffee, if that makes sense. Like I'm craving caffeine, but not an iced coffee. So I didn't stop by Starbucks. But um, we have Cokes in the fridge. And honestly, nothing hits better than an ice cold Coke. People are like very into like the Mexican Cokes, but I like the canned ones for some reason. Like I love the fizziness in them, and oh my god, I don't know. Like it just it just hits different, you know. So I'm gonna crack this Coke open. And I always clean the rim of it because my mom was very OCD about that growing up. The fizziness on this is on another level. Change of plans. I'm not going to go to the pool because I don't feel like going by myself. Plus, I googled it and babies aren't supposed to be in the sun too long under the age of six months. So, I'm going to eat some sour patches and do my nails. Um, and I'm watching this Peso Pluma interview with um julio orozco i really like it this gave me like a whole new perspective on peso pluma like i already liked him but honestly like he's like super chill and humble and i like him so that's what i'm doing i'm trying to kill some time because it's three right now so i want my husband to be home ready because honestly i'm bored I honestly haven't got my nails done this month just because like I'm trying to save money also my nails are super damaged like they're recovering from having acrylics and I just don't want to do acrylics right now uh, Mother's Day is coming up so I think I want to do like press-ons for that day but not acrylics I just want to give my nails a break but for now I'm just gonna do like a little manicure on my nails nothing serious I suck at painting nails so probably won't even paint them I just need to clean them up for sure. It's officially been one year since I became a stay-at-home mom. And honestly, don't ever allow somebody to tell you it's not a job because it's a full-time job. Like, 
by full time i mean like you don't get to get out of work and clock out especially if you're breastfeeding i breastfeed so i only breastfeed my baby like he doesn't drink any formula or anything like that so it's a pretty tough job it's just crazy like how society is like it's crazy how being a stay-at-home mom is considered a privilege when that's just the way things should be naturally like a woman should not have to go to work and raise children like that doesn't make any sense you as a mother should be um the only one taking care of your kids you know like you should have the opportunity to wake up with your children and be with your children all day without having to wake up and drop them off at a daycare and then work all day not knowing if a kid is okay not knowing if um they're eating good if they're being fed if they're being changed if they're being um you know comforted you don't you don't really know you know like you nobody is going to take care of your kid better than you are as a mother being a stay-at-home mom is really challenging as well like on your mental health you because you don't get any breaks there's only so much crying and neediness that you can take in a day without having like a small break like my break for me is taking a shower and that's something that i never would have thought before like, you know doing my hair and makeup is like a whole ass challenge now and now it's like oh like my baby fell asleep let me rush and do my makeup and do whatever i need to do and it, that's like something so different than what i than what i was used to before like i was so selfish with my time and now like i don't have any room to be selfish like all my time and energy is for my baby it's a lot of responsibility you know like being a mom and a wife personally like me my husband's taking care of there's dinner cooked every night his laundry is done like the house is clean like everything that i can do for him i do for him like if i'm gonna be a stay-at-home wife and mother like i'm gonna do my job right my job is to make our home a home so even if this like wasn't necessarily what i planned for my life because i did go to school and i did graduate i have like multiple degrees that i could be using right now <laughs> i'm talking baby okay well my rant has been interrupted but i just want to say if you're a stay-at-home mom like i'm so proud of you and i know it's not easy but it's worth it our job is to be the best mom that we can for them so yeah okay i don't know he's finally down for a nap and he's been asleep for a good while but um that means it's time for me to read and i have a stone at home I don't know what time he's going to get home, but he's not working too far. So hopefully when he gets home, I can start on the dinner. I feel like today's actually been super peaceful. Like it's like a very nice um, red. I made the salmon and the rice. And this is what the bowl looks like. But we don't have sriracha. So we're going to have to just... Um, but I just have this spicy mayo thing, so that's all. But I'm gonna make mine and then we're gonna eat. I'm so excited because I actually love these salmon bowls. I'm more of a mop in the day, like tomorrow type of person. So I just use the Swiffer. Sweeper. Okay, I'm out the shower and I'm going to bed now um it's nine o'clock maybe i'll watch tv but i'm gonna end the vlog so good night and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next vlog